and welcome back to the LEC playoffs as Rogue take down Misfits in the round one of Spring Playoffs and Comp. Thank you so much for joining me after your game. Congrats on Thank taking you. down yeah. Misfits today. Uh, you came off dominating, honestly, throughout the whole series. And I mean, it makes sense, especially given the fact that all the players said you were confident in the fact that you could take down Misfits. But I want to ask, um, what made you so sure that their style would reach their limits in best of five scenarios? Uh, well, I feel like people, like, uh, for example, the regular season, there's always people talking about us of playing one-dimensional style and a lot of this, but I feel like Misfits are kind of the same. Okay. And they had some specific picks that they used to play the whole season, like Jinx. So that's why it was out. We just felt like it was really comfort for him, and we wouldn't feel that threatened if he played anything else, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, Zeri, level, Zeri game one was kind of annoying, but then we kind of figured out what we should do. So yeah, pretty much we just targeted their... Uh, we felt like their weakest points, uh -huh. and we bounced some orbit jumps, let's say, and we just played out the game, yeah. Yeah, played that really well uh, indeed for you guys. Quick question about game three, maybe? What happened there? Uh, well, it was it was legit one move that we did wrong, and we lost the game. I feel like when we went on top, and uh, Odomne got really sunked. Yeah. And the thing is, we committed a lot of uh, numbers on top, like both Jarvan and Nautilus, right? And our goal was to just make Jace viable for the game, but then after what happened, both me and him were really doomed, kind of, because I also lost two waves bot because yeah. their jungle and support fully rotated to bot because their top was already winning. So that's pretty much sum up, I think. And also, I feel like we gave LeBlanc to Veto, which I think he's really good with the sump. But yeah, I mean, we banded game four, so it was no problem. Happens, uh, honestly. But how hard is it to reset after a game like this? You had the edge, you had the momentum. Uh, I don't know, Vitio picking Akali in the next game, last game, we know that he's really good on the champion. Were you confident in your yeah, ability to I mean, I was kind of down? being chilling, I didn't care, to mm -hmm. be honest, about game three. And I mean, the Akali for sure, it's like a highlight sound and it's really hype when people pick it right. But yeah. specifically with their team comp, I felt like it was really bad because they also picked Cannon on fourth pick, right? So they had way too much AP for us. So it was kind of, we were happy to play against them. Easy peasy, and easy to, to manage. Yeah. You mentioned the bot lane. This has been one of the highlights this morning uh, in the ready check. The fact that lots of ADCs have been nerfed, some yeah. buffed. Have you been surprised by anything today? It felt standard to me. <sighs> I mean, Zeri feels the same, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, like, I mean, fun fact, to be honest, after the nerfs, uh, like basically after the regular season, we took a week off, right? And everyone went back home and stuff. And then we saw the mini pads, which for me is really not a mini pads because they nerfed the whole bot lane meta. But anyways, so we just thought, okay, Zeri has gotten like three or four nerfs in a row, right? So she should be bad. So we yeah. should not play here. And then, yeah, basically we didn't play here at all on scrims. And now we go three days before we play and we're like, guys, I think that is fucking OP, so let's just play it again whenever it's open. <laughs> well, it worked out well for, for you. Uh, about preparation, maybe, as you said, we had a new patch and especially lots of changes when it comes to the bot lane. How hard is it to prep for best of fives uh, when you don't have any information uh, at all? Because when you, if you show up on stage and you have the wrong read of the meta, it could yeah. just cost you the series. So how hard is it? Uh, well, to start off, I don't feel like we have this issue of yeah. having the wrong meta or something. I feel like, especially me and Adi or Trimby, I think we're like really confident to play whatever the team needs and we can just uh, play something that maybe we haven't played for a month or something, right? But I feel like just we are in that skill individually that we can just play whatever the team needs, right? So I'm really not worried, especially about both meta, even after that mini patch. Feels like you guys understand each other uh, quite well, honestly, looking ahead at playoffs. You tweeted something that I found really interesting, the fact that you were back playing best of five series after, after such a long time. Yeah. Um, you said also that it was special for you playing best of five. Yeah. Could you tell me more about these vibes and what you felt today on stage? I mean, honestly, I, enjoy, I enjoyed my time so much and I feel like I will keep doing this whenever I play, right? Especially on stage. But yeah, about the thing I tweeted, uh, I felt like my last best of five might have been in 2019 or something, right? So it's actually been a long time, but I remember just this feeling of even if you lose the, the one game, it really doesn't matter, right? You, you are so hyped to go into the next one and you just uh, reload and refocus and... Yeah, it's always uh, really enjoyable to play best of fives. Such a different setting and the best competitive one, of course. Yeah. Quick words about the series tomorrow. You'll be facing the winner next week. Yeah. Rogue, uh, Fnatic G2, who takes it? Uh, well, I would say Fnatic, to be honest. Okay. I feel like... 
I mean, to be honest, I would rather face Fnatic, even if, in my opinion, they're the better team. I really want to go into that 2v2 with Hapset and Healy and maybe do a verbal agreement with Junglers and they both pass top lane, so we see who's the better bot right now in the league. But yeah, I mean, I see Fnatic taking it all the way, yeah. That would be a matchup to keep an eye on, on the bot lane. But that's the story for next week. Comp, thank you so much for joining me thank for this for interview. Congrats on taking down Misfits today. And stay tuned because we have way more to sell about this series. So back to your shocks for PGL.